I don't have a ton of camera gear because before I started really uploading to this channel, uh, I got caught up in the minimalist hype and sold about 90% of all of my gear, consolidated it down into the two camera kits that I have right now, which is a Fujifilm kit and a Sony kit. If I'd have kept all of that gear, then this channel would be about Canon and Panasonic. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about my top five pieces of camera gear of 2020. More on everything else, in 2023. All right, let's get into this video. So coming in at number one is the Fujifilm X-H1. The limitations of this camera has given me a whole new outlook on cameras. Most importantly, it's limitation when it comes to battery life. It has taught me to be more intentional with the shots that I get instead of letting the camera run indefinitely, which saves me a ton of time on the back end. I have less footage to sort through. And in the end, I know I got the shots that I needed with a few more as just in case. It's gotten to the point that I'm more efficient with the shots that I get to the point that the 15 minute and 30 minute record limits don't really impact how I shoot with the Fujifilm X-H1. Now coming in at number two is the Fujifilm XF 16 to 55 F 2.8. I'm choosing this lens because without it, I would have felt restricted with the Fujifilm X-H1. It gives me the reach and the sharpness that I'm looking for out of a lens, especially on the Fujifilm X-H1. And with the battery life of the X-H1, I can't waste any time. And the, uh, the 16 to 55 really helps me with cutting down my shooting time. <laughs> Third on this list is the Rode Video Mic Go 2. I love my Daddy mics. I think the Daddy V Mic D3 Pro sounds better than the Rode Video Mic Go 2. And it is a bit more versatile being that I can control the actual volume with the knob on the back. But the Rode Video Mic Go 2 takes the cake because I use it more for this channel and it helped me to create a preset for the audio that I use for this channel. I guess you could say it's a preset that I'm happy with that I can tweak in case I need to adjust it, and it just gave me a good middle ground. If you wanna see tutorials on how to edit audio or create a preset of your own in Final Cut Pro, let me know down in the comments below. And fourth on this list is the Peak Design Tripod. This tripod is definitely overpriced and it's the cheaper, heavier version. This tripod is my most used tripod of 2022. I've used this tripod on every shoot I've done this year. Well, almost every shoot, but there have been a few times when I had to retighten the clamps on the legs, but this tripod has taken a beating in the rain, snow, hot summers. I love this tripod. Coming in at number five, is two pieces of gear and they are the Sony a7 IV and the Sony 16 to 35 F4. I see both of these pieces of gear as one because I use both of them for work and they're basically inseparable at this point. But most importantly, these are the two pieces of gear that make it possible for me to sit here and make these videos. Although I don't really use them to make content on this channel, they are my workhorses. And because they help me produce the work I create for clients, I'm able to dedicate hours of my time to create for this channel and they will make it possible for 2023 but they are the two most important pieces of gear on this list i have more gear i will be sharing with you all in 2023 i'm closing 2020 out with this video subscribe and like for more in 2023 happy new year and stay awesome